It's an interface which assists you in accessing and managing AWS services. You can access this console via a simple and intuitive web-based user interface. So you can access uh, via desktop or laptop. So I'm right now I'm talking about web-based user interface. You can log in using your AWS account name and password. If you have enabled AWS multi-factor authentication, that is MFA, you will be prompted for your device authentication code. Now, after the web interface, we have one app as well, AWS console mobile app. This will help you in quickly and easily view and manage your AWS resources from your phone or tablet. The app provides mobile relevant tasks that are a good companion to the full web experience. App can be handy in some circumstances when you require to boot an EC2 instance or check CloudWatch alarms. You can download AWS console mobile app from Amazon App Store or Apple App Store or Google Play. The web interface is very popular because app has many limitations. I mean, you cannot do every task using the app. It's only for some emergency reboot or maybe for some monitoring. So I always prefer the web interface because it's full fledged and it can do everything. So let us sign into the AWS console, HTTPS AWS.Amazon.com. So here I am logging into AWS console and here, so here's the welcome screen and it has all the basic settings. For example, if you want, you can select the region from here, the region which you are interested in. And then the one, one the user which has logged in has been displayed over here, AWS lab at AWS course 2018. You can see this and AWS services here recently visited services then build a solution this is these are just references you can see click and see more as well so here the most most of the time you would be using AWS services this search box here if you type something for example EC2 so EC2 is getting displayed over here similarly for S3 so all any of the services you can just type and auto complete text box will be generated to help you here and you can simply click and go to the services or alternatively you can go to the services from here by clicking this services and here it has been categorized I mean all the services have been categorized based on uh, for example their usage for compute de developer tools analytics management tools storage database so almost maybe more than 90 services are there over here and it's always changing i mean it's always in increasing in number you get a search box here also you can search for example let us search iam okay here you can click and directly go to the iam or alternatively security identity and compliance you can go to iam from here as well if you want to search anything about database see this database rds dynamo db okay and then we have one pin over here let us see what it can do for you so this you can think of uh, something like a shortcut okay so you don't need to go on searching for your favorite services you can just pin them up here over here for example let me pin uh, something from this list and okay rds rds is here i want rds to be here so i will drag and drop simply so let me drag another one as well root 53 and it's here okay so now EC2, S3, RDS, root 53, etc. are there as a shortcut. And if I want, I can 
directly for example i can directly go now i don't need to search for these services whenever i'm logging in it would always be there as a shortcut and i can click and straight away go to these services so we are here in amazon s3 okay so i think you got what's the objective of this now if you want to unpin any of uh, these services from here let us see what let us see how we can do it i will click this pin once again and we will just select for example i want to remove s3 i will just drag and drop it somewhere here okay so s3 is gone i don't want ec2 over here i will just drag it and drop it here okay i think you got the point and how to navigate around this pin and how to unpin we'll go back to services again and here we can go to support center as well okay let us see what's there in support so as we are in free tier we have very limited support let us create a case for customer care now here's the catch since we are on free tier we are allowed only to consult the customer care or to write to the customer care regarding account and billing support and service limit increase we cannot go ahead with technical support so it's this is written unavailable under the basic support plan so technical support is paid so until unless we are upgrading our plan we cannot go ahead uh, with technical support with basic support plan if you want we can change it from here so account and billing support we can write to customer care executives and they will respond us back with 